Hey, this is Max. Thanks for stopping by. At the end of the last video, I left the wind tunnel in, um, we'll call it a state. And there's a few things flopping around that I'd like to clean up. I promise though, if you give me a minute, I can fix them all and I'll do a full test run at the end of this video. The first thing I want to address is the floppy turbine. If you watched my last video to the end, you can see it trying to fly apart. While that might be funny to see, I don't really want to reprint and rebuild every time I test. The other issue is, the turbines don't spin fast enough for the generator. So I'll also need to build a transmission and a new mount for the generator. Oh, I almost forgot. We don't have any way to view or record the data coming out of the wind tunnel, so I'm going to have to program something up. And now that I've said all this out loud, I kind of feel like I need a montage. It's always a good time for a montage. Alright, well, that actually worked. And if you look at the left side of the screen, you'll see some values just raw dog in it, straight from the wind tunnel. But probably more interesting is the graph. The darker blue is wind velocity, light blue is voltage, yellow here is current, and you can kind of think of that as the load that's being applied to the generator and turbine. And the orange is power. This is probably the one we care about most. It tells us where the turbine is making the most power and how much. It looks like this turbine, the lens by the way, produced 0.2296. I think we could probably round that up to 0.23. The unit we're measuring in is watts, but that doesn't really matter because we're just going to be comparing to different turbines that are being tested in the same wind tunnel. I guess all that's left to do is test some blades. Should we do that now? Okay, you talk me into it. Let's meet the contenders. First, uh, second, we have the Jellyfish by SJH7132. I'm pretty excited to see this one go because it was evolved using an algorithm. And third, a blade thought up and named by my dad. It's called the Cone of Shame. Let's hope it doesn't end up in the Box of Shame with the rest of my 3D prints.
Well, the results are pretty clearly dominated by the lens. I guess SJH7132 was right. The jellyfish was just not evolved for this world. And the cone of shame, it's pulling up the rear. Sorry, Dad. I hope you'll join me for the next episode to see if the lens can hold on to its lead against a new set of blade designs.